Welcome back. So I recently did a video on my raw Hank Greenberg cards as part of that collection. And those will eventually get out to for grading and authentication, etc. Um, most importantly, put in slabs. But obviously, Greenberg is not the only player I collect. One of the primary ones, but not the only one. I also have cards of other players, other parts of the PC, that I definitely also have to get out to get slabbed, and eventually that will happen. So, just wanted to go over a few of the other players that I'm certain you will recall from this channel if you've been watching for any length of time. And there's some really good ones, there's some common ones, there's some ones in really good shape, and some that are, some that are just beat up. But they're all part of the PC, and they will all eventually go out for grading. So starting off, let's go over some Al Rosen cards. We have the 1950 Bowman, no copyright, rookie card, which is in not great shape. But then, in very good, nice shape, we have the 1950 Bowman with copyright. Al Rosen rookie card. So two Rosens will eventually go off. As will this one, 1951 Burke Ross. Al Rosen, pretty hard to find. Not incredibly difficult, but not common either. So that will be headed off. 1951 Bowman, great photo. And in pretty nice shape. Obviously not the card that everyone's looking for when it comes to 51 Bowman. Then we have 52 Bowman. This card could be in better shape, but colors are still good. Picture is still clear. No creases that I'm aware of. So a pretty solid example. A couple examples of the 1952 Al Rosen from Tops. They're not perfect. They got marks. They got stains, I got schmutz, and they're both red backs. So, a couple of those to send out. 1953 Bowman Color. We have one that's in reasonable shape, I would say. Not great, but reasonable. A little bit of a crease there. And then we have this one sent by a subscriber, which is in phenomenal shape. I'd be really curious to see what this ends up. Uh, grade wise. Now we have 1953 tops. Classic card. Classic set. Let's send that off. 54 tops. Another card in pretty good shape. Center is actually really nice on this one. It's a really good eye appeal. Good color, good centering. Just not the greatest condition. And then we have a 19, I think it's 54, 55, basically Dixie cup lid with the tab, which is very difficult. And this is the meadow gold variation. And these are really hard to find, again, with the tab. And when you do find them, they're usually quite expensive if they're already slabbed. So I was able to find this up for a reasonable price. And so I picked it up. And I plan on sending this out, hopefully sooner rather than later. So that's the Rosen cards that I have that will eventually get slabbed. Uh, next up, I have a couple of Morris Arnovich 1939 play ball. And look, we have the uppercase and the lo upper lowercase last name. So both variations of this card in pretty good shape for both of them. So I'll be curious to see what they would end up getting. Not in great a shape, but color is really good on this one. Um, centering is off, but not horrendous. 1941 play ball with the New York Giants. An incredibly rare Arnovich defined is the 41 Gaudi 
These are blank back cards. This is the green variation. Again, incredibly hard set of any player to find these cards, um, especially at a price that's even somewhat affordable. This one I got very lucky with, won an auction, so I'll be adding this. This will probably go with Greenberg's cards to get slabbed. Next up we have uh, Harry the Horse Danning. Decent copy of the 1941 play ball. Good color, centering could be better. Corners are a little rough, but you know, they're not rounded. Uh, decent example of that card. We got some harder ones to get as we go further back in time. 1927, I believe it's W560, if I remember correctly. The Buddy Meyer, this is with the Boston Red Sox. And Walter Eastern owned this one. Um, so it'll get a mark, and I'm fine with that. These are pretty difficult to find. Um, so this might be Myers' rookie card as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. Or no, 1927. So maybe 1935 Diamond Star, Buddy Meyer. Again, one of the this is falls under one of the players who everyone thought was Jewish for a long time, and it turns out he was not. But it's still an interesting part of kind of quasi Jewish players in baseball. Um, this one, there's really no question. Andy Cohen, 1927. King of Hearts. Yep. 1927, W560. The same as the Buddy Meyer. Just a much crisper example. And this is actually when he was playing. Unlike his 33 Gaudi rookie card, which was long after his last game he played in the majors. And finally, we have my only example of the 1934 Batter Up Moberg. So the, all the other cards that were made of Berg during his playing days, I have in slabs. This is the only one I do not have in a slab. It's not the greatest condition. I'll be lucky if it gets a one. Because um, it has been, looks like it's been folded, popped out, and everything. Um, pretty heavily worn. But difficult card to get, um, and usually rather expensive when they do come up. Um, this is a buy it now purchase for me, probably at market price, um, if I recall correctly. Um, but I was happy just to have an example of this particular card of the old Boston Red Sox catcher at the tail end of his playing days. So those are the cards. Kind of the other parts of the Jewish players, pre-war, post-war, mostly pre-war. Um, players that, and cards I want to send out. Some, again, some really hard to find ones. Some common ones. Um, some ones in really good shape. Some ones in just horrendous shape. There's a whole variety. Um... That I've been able to acquire over time and I've just been lazy in sending them out to get slabbed but eventually they'll all be slabbed they'll all be part of that larger collection along with all the Hank Greenberg cards that I have to send out and pay for all the slabbing and authentication which is not gonna be fun that's the part I'm not looking forward to is paying that bill but that's what I have for you this time around and please remember to collect what you enjoy enjoy what you collect and don't let anybody especially the market or a youtuber dictate that to you most importantly have fun and have fun by being active in this community so find your way of participating whether it's making videos watching and commenting going to live streams group chats going to your LCS or local card show or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends the more you put into it the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people will meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. 
Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.